Pisces, welcome to Soul Good. I'm Amber Marie, and this is your December 2022 tarot scope. If you're curious about the decks that I'm using today, you can find a list of them in the description box below. You can also find links to my social media accounts, as well as links to information on personal readings and the Soul Good membership channel on Telegram. I would like to remind you that this is a collective reading, not a personal reading, so please only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. There will be a timestamp in the description box below if you wish to bypass any shuffling. We are going to be looking at, for you, this month Pisces, what's being activated, how is what's being activated going to help you, getting some clarity and diving deeper on that with the tarot, and then looking at as well why this is important for your soul's journey, and finally getting some guidance, advice, or encouragement for you moving forward. So let's jump right in. Please, Father, Mother, Life, Universe, Spirits, Guides, Angels, our Cosmic Team, our Ancestors, our Higher Selves, what's being activated for Pisces this month, please? I just got the word truth. I don't know what that means to you. It might be something important. Maybe you got some sort of truth or are prepared to speak some sort of truth or acknowledge some sort of truth. Okay. What's being activated for Pisces for December 2022, please? What's being activated for Pisces in December 2022, please? Yep, thank you. I knew there was another one. I was just waiting for it to come up. How is what's being activated going to help Pisces, please? How is what's being activated going? Thank you. Just the one. Interesting. Can we have some clarity, please? How? Okay. Are there more? Yes. How is what's being activated going to help Pisces, please? How is what's being activated going to help Pisces, please? Can we have some clarity? Thank you. Why is this important for Pisces soul journey, please? Why is this important for Pisces soul journey? Thank you. Yep. I felt like there was at least one more in there. And can we please have some guidance, advice, or encouragement for Pisces moving forward? Guidance, advice, or encouragement for Pisces moving forward, please. Thank you. I feel like there's another one in here somewhere. <laughs> Guidance, advice, or encouragement. There it is. Thank you. Okay, let me just collect these Pisces and then we will jump right in. Okay, so what's being activated for you this month, Pisces? You do have Venusian Galactic Council, Star Being Guides, Answer the Call, Time to Shine. So I do feel like for some of you, um, it's really interesting because I feel like for some of you, you may have been feeling called, I, like I know this kind of goes without saying because it says answer the call, right? But I feel like some of you have been feeling called to do something different. And I feel like for some of you, you may have felt like this is definitely my path. I'm definitely on the right track. This is definitely where I'm supposed to be. And I feel like through the month of December, you may be getting these things that are like, mm, but is it really? Mm, but is it really? Is that really the path you're supposed to be on, Pisces? Is that really what you're meant to be doing, right? Are you, oh, thank you. That's interesting. That's interesting. I just got, are you anchored in reality? And now I want to lovingly say that the reality that we feel is reality is not actually reality. I know that's, I just took you guys for a loop there probably. Maybe not. You guys are Pisces. You might understand. Um, but I literally feel like some of you have been trying to, what is the word, please? Yes, manipulate your reality to suit your needs versus, how do I wear this? Uh, versus, yeah, manipulating your, your reality or 
or changing your reality, trying to like micromanage or control your reality to achieve a certain outcome of what you feel is the truth or what you have felt in the past has been your truth. When in truth, it's like you're trying to, or no, rather um, in truth, what, what you would have been more conducive to your growth would have been allowing like you changing right? You, you finding the things that needed to be, like, I'm kind of saying it like clay, actually, um, like the things that needed to take place in order to mold you, like you should have, I should, I, I want to say you should have, because I'm sure that, you know, you've, the things that you've experienced have been beneficial for your growth in some way, shape or form. Nothing comes from nothing. But I feel like there's an element of like, instead of trying to, um, control the situation by implementing change or like or or by manipulating situations in order to try to produce an outcome that fits what you like your own narrative if you will I know that may be a triggering word for some people um but you know I feel like some of you have, have done that and what would have been more conducive to your growth would have been allowing the situations that made you uncomfortable, that made you question things, that made you, you know, feel differently or think differently, um, allow them to mold you, right? Allow it to change you. And, and it's weird. It's a weird feeling. But I feel like some of you may have been feeling called to do something different than what you've been doing, what you thought was the path you were supposed to be on right and i feel like that's because it is your time to shine and i mean that from a very beautiful space like i feel like there's some like you are supposed to be doing something else here there's something more for you here than what you've been doing in the past and i feel like what you're picking up on now intuitively the things that are coming through to you are trying to align you with that call, with that time to shine, with that time to come out of your shell, to really um, be in the world versus trying to escape from it, okay? That, like, I'm just the messenger, <laughs> right? Um, I do feel as well that with the star being guides here, I feel like for some of you, you've been hearing your guides or or even um, intentionally connecting with something larger than yourself. Maybe it's prayer, maybe it's meditation, maybe you're just getting out in nature or something or out by yourself and you are just talking out loud, right? Or, or maybe you're like, okay, I don't know what the hell to do here. Like, you know, you're trying to clear your head and you're getting things coming in, you're getting answers, right? Maybe it's showing up in dreams. Maybe you ask questions like, hey, Lord, or God, what do I do? Or, you know, if God, God if you're there um, type of thing. And then I feel like you could have potentially had like a dream or, or something drop into your awareness about something or someone or some step to take. And it's like, I feel like an answer came through like that fast. Like it felt like that fast because I feel like for some of you, oops, sorry guys, I just hit the mic. For some of you, I feel like you may have not even, like, I feel like you could have thought like, there's no way, like, I'm going to get an answer right? Like, I feel like you weren't expecting God to answer you or, you know, and I feel like your prayers are being heard. The things that you are saying are being heard. And so I think that may have been kind of shocking to you. I think, you know, if this happens, if this hasn't happened to you already, it may. And I feel like if it does, it, I feel like it takes you by surprise. I really do but take that as it resonates. And I don't know exactly what that could be referring to, but if it's for you, you will know. So what else is being activated for you this month, Pisces? You do have here as well, Earth Star Activation, Anchoring, Grounded Action, Isis Energy. Isn't that interesting? Considering that I was just talking about, you may have been asking God, like, what do I do? And God, you could have had a dream or something, a vision or, you know, some, some kind of something where it's like, this is what you should do. And you're like, oh, wait, what? I'm sorry, what? How? What? <laughs> right? I feel like it took you by surprise again. And I feel like it is trying to tell you, hey, this is the space that you should be moving into. This is what, you know, these are the things that we we should be doing right now to get us into alignment. Um, again, there is this anchoring energy here, which is standing out to me in, 
in reference to what I said earlier, right? Where I'm like, okay, it's, it's time to be a part of this world now and to let your light shine and to be a part of it and to experience it, not just escape from it. And it's interesting that you have this earth star or earth activation, right? With anchoring. And, and I feel like it's like, oh, I actually am supposed to be part of this experience, like anchoring into this experience, not just running from the things that make me uncomfortable or, or, you know, like off, I, and it, no judgment because I find myself here quite often, but you, it's like balance between being, um, off in la la land, right. Off in whatever other dimension you're in and being, you know, a part of what's, what you're meant to be experiencing on this planet, right? I am going to read this card for you. Um, I feel like there could be something there for someone, right? So if you're, if you're resonating with what I've said so far, um, there could be additional things here for you. Let me find it. There we go. Okay. So it says here, the earth star chakra is found at six to 12 inches below our feet. It's, or, oh my gosh, the earth star, excuse me, found around six to 12 inches below our feet is the energetic portal that connects us directly with the soul wisdom of mother earth. It is our gateway to the underworld of the earth, a space of sacred magic and mystery where we find a lot of the tools, gifts, and skills the ancients used to connect with the earth and her wisdom. The Egyptian goddess Isis appears on this card as our spiritual guide. She is a high priestess of the stars who knows the importance of connecting with the underworld to stay grounded, aware, and manifest all that we need to grow. Follow in her footsteps by connecting to your earth star. Anchor down and go digging within to find any parts of your magic, wisdom, and experiences you have pushed down, both in this incarnation and in previous lifetimes. These tools could be helpful on the next phase of your journey. When you draw this card, know your earth star has been activated and the wisdom you once ignored is finally being acknowledged. The rejected parts of yourself have now been rediscovered. There is an opportunity for you to rediscover magic too, but stay firmly rooted in all of your endeavors. Let the earth hold and sustain you. Don't rush ahead. In fact, if you've been wondering if it's time to move forward, know that it isn't. Stay put for the time being. Important information is about to be revealed, so wait and stand strong. This is a time of integration and rest, Rather than pushing forward, great wisdom lies within you. Dive deep and find it and trust in yourself. You have more strength than you realize. So what's beautiful about this, Pisces, is I feel like you have this star being guides, right? Answer the call. It's time to shine. And I do feel like for many of you, it's time to recognize your value, right? Your, and I want to say this so lovingly. I've drawn a lot of Pisces into my experience and almost every single one of them I'm like my god if you could just see how incredible you actually are like your whole life would be different your whole freaking life would be different and I've known people who you know who also have known Pisces who are like yeah I totally agree with that right it's like if you could only see you right um and so I feel like there's something like being stirred within you, right? To really help to align you with that time to shine. And again, I feel like you could have been asking, um, God, you know, what do I do now? What's the next step? What do I need to be doing? Right. And again, it's that encouragement. It's that push. Even if you don't realize that that's what it is from source, God, universe, whatever you call it. I refer to it as God. You can call it whatever you wish. But, you know, I feel like it's God, like, stirring that within you, like, Psst, hey, Psst, hey, what do you think you should be doing right now? And then you're like, hmm, what should I be doing? <laughs> right? Um, and, and I feel like it's pushing you to dive deeper, to dig deeper, to ask yourself the hard questions, right? To not just ignore them, push them down, right? And it's interesting because it does say, you know, um, 
when you draw this card, know your Earth Star has been activated and the wisdom you once ignored is finally being acknowledged. The rejected parts of yourself have now been rediscovered. And I feel like this is these are, I feel like this is things you feel, right? Things that you have experienced or or something where it has affected you in some way, shape, or form. And I feel like you could have pushed these parts of yourself down because you didn't want to see them. And I feel like for some of you, the reason why you didn't want to see them is because it essentially um, collapses or had the potential to collapse everything that you built your identity on. You can take that however it resonates with you. And if it doesn't, leave it where it's at. But be honest with yourself. Because I feel like these parts of you are trying to be rediscovered. Right? How is what's being activated going to help you, Pisces? Patience. You are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. So that's beautiful because you do have this weight. You know what I mean? Like things are not yet ready to move forward yet type of energy coming through with what we read there with the earth star activation and now you have patience as well right so i feel like the things that are being activated within you are i feel allowing you to if you choose right to be more accepting um and more flowing with life and not again, not trying to control all the things because it's like, oh, I don't know how this is going to work out. I don't know how this is going to work out. I don't know how this is going to work out. I don't know how this is going to work out. And then instead of being patient and waiting to see how it works out, you're like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And then you run, right? Uh, for some of you, that's not for everybody, right? But I do feel like it's interesting that you have this time to shine, answer the call. So I feel like there's two levels of this, being patient with yourself, Pisces, and being patient with the time it takes for things to unfold, right? Everything happens for a reason. And the way that things are moving this month, which does feel a bit slower for you in comparison to the other signs, I feel like it's trying to help you build this patience because I feel like at the end of it all, it's worth it. Whatever it is, it's worth it, right? The patience, the time that it's taking is worth it. Okay. So again, I do feel like this is something that is going to help you as you move forward, because I feel like it's going to help you to have that ability to flow through life with ease to again, to not feel like you want to run when you don't know how things are going to work out. Okay. Let's get some clarity and dive deeper on that. So we do have the yes. You Okay, I almost said the king, but you have the Knight of Pentacles. This is fascinating to me because the Knight of Pentacles is an energy of responsibility. Okay, it's also an energy of hard work. And so, right, how is what's being activated going to help you? It's going to help you by seeing that it requires patience and hard work to truly align with what you're meant to be doing here right? To truly align with that, which is going to bring you fulfillment, happiness, joy, peace, right? Those sorts of things, the pleasure of life. I feel like, and I, and it's interesting because I feel like for some of you, you may have been actually focusing on like work, like the physical world, um, devoting a lot of time and energy to work, right? To try to be, what is the word? Like, I don't even know. I don't even know what the word is. Uh, practical? No. Nope, that's not it. it. It's, I don't even know, like, stable, maybe? You know, like, trying to, like, show that you're stable. I don't know. It feels like for some of you, you've been very much in the earthly realm of things. Very much in, like, the practical, logical ways of being, right? Um, and I feel like that may be because what you feel, and this is like classic Piscean energy, what you feel, your emotions, and what you feel within your intuition, I feel go against what's in your physical reality, to some extent, one way or another. And I feel like, it's like I'm trying to avoid the depths of all of this 
feeling and emotion and intuitive things over here. So I'm just going to like hardcore tunnel vision focus on work. And I feel like it's like, oh, I'm going to try to like drown out all these things over here by working, right? As another kind of like escapist type of energy. And I feel like all of these things are happening to show you like, that's not what it's all about, right? It, it's not all about the physical world. It's not all about being stable or practical or financially set or your physical world being, you know, perfect or or whatever. It's It's about taking responsibility for yourself for for yourself and how you impact the world around you right and i want to lovingly say that denying these parts of yourself if you ring true to this you build a wall up between you and you right because you're like oh i don't want to feel those things those aren't you know i don't want to i don't want to acknowledge these parts about myself so you build this wall and then what happens is you build a wall between you and everyone else too Right. Or if you're like, oh, I'm just going to focus on the physical world, like you build a wall, not just with the emotions that you feel about all these other things, but emotions in general. Right. Which that's not that's not that's not the whole reason why we're here. Right. You don't learn very much about yourself when you do that. And so I feel like this is about you taking responsibility. These things are being activated for you to take responsibility for you. Right. And to understand that the way that you experience your internal world impacts immensely how you experience your external world and how others experience you right so i feel like this is about um you getting comfortable pisces and under or well getting comfortable with being uncomfortable and understanding like the reason you feel so deeply is because you have this big calling this this calling that is much bigger than yourself and you may have felt insignificant small whatever throughout a majority of your life but the reason you feel so deeply is because you have a deep purpose you have a big purpose you have a reason for feeling things as deeply as you do because you're meant to be helping people in some way shape or form which is why you're so compassionate why you're so sensitive why you're so intuitive right so i feel like this is really about you taking responsibility for for your purpose here for who you are, what you're doing, right? And, and not to just kind of, I don't even know what the word is. Like, I don't want to say waste life because I don't feel like it's a waste. I feel like you've learned a lot um, and, and, and will regardless, but I feel like it's like, is that really how you want to spend whatever amount of time you have left here doing? I feel like that's a serious question that may be coming within your or into your reality through the month of December, Pisces. Like, is this really how you want to spend whatever time you have left on this planet? However much time you have left living is what you've been doing and how you've been experiencing the world really how you want to keep doing it. I mean, you know the answer to that, right? So... Take it as it resonates with you. <laughs> okay. What else do we have here? Wow. The magician. Okay. And I love this guy. Like, I mean, he looks kind of like Jesus. Like the King of Pentacles in this deck looks like Jesus for sure, for sure. Okay. And again, I'm not trying to push religion on anybody. I believe in God. I believe Jesus walked the planet as an ascended master to help us to, to better connect with God. But I don't really, I'm not really affiliated or, or not affiliated, but uh, I don't really recognize any one particular denomination. Still, this guy kind of looks like Jesus. Anyways, he is the magician here, right? And this is, um, the magician is somebody who has all of the skills available, all of the tools needed in order to create the experience that he wants to have, in order to manifest the experience he wants to have, right? This is someone who has mastered all four of the elements, right? The fire element, which is energy, willpower, courage, right? Passion, inspiration, um, water, which is emotions, habits, intuition, healing, spirituality, the air element, which is logic, communication, awareness, perception, right? And then earth as well, which is the physical world, you know, in regards to practicality, um, experience, reliability, responsibility, finances, those sorts of things, right? And he's been able to learn how to do them, utilize them all 
to create, again, a reality that he wants to, a reality that he is happy with, right? And so you have this here, and I again, it, this is fascinating because it's how is what's being activated going to help you? It's going to help you to create the reality that you actually want to experience, right? Not the one that society told you you should want, not the one that uh, your wounding and trauma and everything else has told you that you should experience, you know, not that one. No, the one that you actually want to experience because you do have everything you need in order to be able to do that, right? So let me, I'm going to pull out this book. Um, just for a moment, I apologize if I'm making like a lot of extra noise, but let me just pull this out. Let me find it. This book is kind of big guys. So give me a sec. Okay. Let me just set this back where I have it. Okay. So I will, I'm going to read the upright meanings and then we want, I want to read the transformations part for you as well. Okay. Okay. So it says here, the upright meanings are external knowledge, manifesting desires, channeling internal will, channel your resources for a single purpose, self control, study, self mastery and masculine divine. So interesting. I've actually never read that before. I've never read this part of the book before. Um, I haven't been in this book a whole lot, actually. But that's interesting to me. Um, I do feel like some of those uh, keywords or, or meanings could be standing out to you even just even just reading them. So the transformation section says using the power of the magician is a two way street. When we call down the desire from above to below, we are asking the gods to heed our requests. The tools on the magician's table aid, support, and showing the gods what is desired and how swiftly to bring it to you. The power is not kept but borrowed long enough for you to receive what you've asked for in some respect. However, this energy can be reversed. When we channel more energies than we can handle, we get tired or sick. Our bodies are not able to sustain the power for long. The manifestations aren't always picture perfect either. Sometimes we have to word our, our petitions clearly or show the gods exactly what we want in order for them to understand. This can move the occult magician into the realm of stage magician where trickery and manipulation are done in order to trick others into showing we have gotten what we want. So that's really fascinating, right? Because look, so I just want to show you, I have, again, I've never read this for the magician before. I've read it for some of the minor arcana, um, but not so much the major arcana. Look at how much information is, is in this book about the magician. Okay. And I could have chosen any, any part of this to read, right? But I felt intuitively called to read this transformation section. And within it, it literally says, or talks about the manipul um, where trickery and manipulation are done in order to trick others into showing we have gotten what we want. So for me, and I don't know how you're interpreting that, but for me, what it's saying is like, Oh, um, yeah, this is really what I want actually when it's really not right. Like this is like, Oh, this life, this experience, this is what I really want. And in reality, it's like, no, what you really wanted was the thing you ran from, right? What you really wanted was the thing you've been trying to escape from. You've been trying to avoid, but you can go ahead and keep pretending that's fine. Right. So take it as it resonates with you. If it doesn't leave it there. But I definitely feel like there's an element here of essentially you moving into a space where you are actually experiencing what you want to experience. Right. And being very clear about what it is you want to experience. So why is this important for your soul's journey? Share your voice. Come out of the cave persecution expression. Yeah. OK. So again, <laughs> Um, what is like come out of the cave? It's hiding, right? This is share your voice. This is 
hiding in the cave because you're afraid of what the truth of the things are, the persecution. What's going to happen if I do this? What's going to happen if I do that? What's going to happen if I let this carry on without knowing what the outcome is? Right. That is be fearing that persecution, fearing the outcome of a situation. And so instead of and this happens, right? I've done this myself instead of actually waiting to see how things unfold. It's like, no, I'm going to go hide in the cave. I'm not even going to wait for whatever happened is going to happen to happen because I don't I don't know that I want to know. It might hurt. Right. Um, and then, you know, there's expression here as well. So I feel like for some of you, there are again, there are things that you have not been truthful about. And again, things that you may have even been asking, right? Like, God, what do I do? I don't even know what to do, right? And here's the thing. I feel like for whoever this is for, I feel like when God answered you, right? Like maybe you had a dream about it, like I said in the beginning or something. I feel like whatever God said in whatever way, shape or form that message came through, I feel like it had something to do with you being truthful, with you expressing your truth, with you coming out of the cave, with you sharing whatever it needs, whatever you need to, in order to not be carrying the weight of dishonesty or inauthenticity or not being truthful to you, right? I feel like, I don't know, you take it as it resonates with you, but I definitely feel like there's something here too. Look at that's water there outside of that cave. I don't know if you can tell. And we were talking about allowing yourself to feel. Look at this. She's sitting on the, the, the land in this cave, right? And like I was saying before, Pisces, I feel like some of you have been very much in the earthly realm, in the physical realm, in the let me be stable and, and financially okay and practical and whatever, whatever, because you haven't wanted to dive into the emotions and feel the things. So I feel like it's important for you to come out and feel the things, right? You can't hide in the cave forever. You've got to come out eventually. Okay. Especially if you want to experience what, or rather, let me rephrase that. Especially if you want to experience things differently than you have in the past. Okay. You also have your don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Look at this. Look at this. You cannot make this shit up, Pisces. The bottom of this card says time to shine. And then you have for your guidance or advice or encouragement moving forward, you have don't dim to fit in. Right? So this is essentially saying, Pisces, or God is saying to you, I said what I said. Right? It's about you coming out of the cave. This is about you shining your light. This is about you aligning with what you feel to be true and right. And I mean true and right from your soul, from your heart and following that versus being worried about how it's going to look to anybody else. Right? It's about not making yourself comfortable or uh, not changing yourself to make others comfortable, to appease other people or to appease the societal norms or whatever it is, right? Like you may have had things that you've wanted to do, wanted to experience, wanted to pursue. And somebody was like, that's stupid. Or why would you do that? Or that doesn't make sense or whatever it is. So you're dimming yourself to make others comfortable. You're not following what you think is true because someone else said, mm, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, right? Like, it's interesting. I feel like for some of you, you have tried to fit in. You've tried to fit, to, 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 to do things in your life because somebody was telling you that that's what you should be doing. Right? I don't know who this is for or if there are several of, you know, you Pisces that are resonating with this, but it's like, again, there's that message as well of almost every Pisces I've ever known is like play small. They play so small. They don't see their own light. They don't see how amazing they really are. And I think part of that is because they don't, first of all, they don't allow themselves to, right? They, they, in a lot of cases, like they don't allow themselves to really see themselves um, and I feel like that's because they would have to feel things. <laughs> I'm just saying, um, not, maybe that's not for everybody, but 
you know, and then I feel like there's this element of like, hey, um, if you could only see how great you really are, you wouldn't have to try to do all these other things to try to, to make yourself feel important or, or to feel like you matter or to feel valuable like you do all on your own. And it's so weird, Pisces, because like you guys are amazing, like all by yourself without any added anything. Right. But it's like, oh, I need to do this in order to be accepted. I need to do this in order to be accepted. I need to do this in order to be accepted. Um, let me be this person. Let me do this. And, you know, there's a lot of Pisces that I've experienced who have had problems with alcohol and drugs and um, escapism and those sorts of things. And it's like, if you could just stop for a minute and deal with the things and experience yourself and allow others to experience you and to be truthful and be vulnerable and to dive deep, like you would experience life so much more differently and you wouldn't feel so empty. I don't know if you could hear that, but my stomach just growled pretty loud, or at least it felt pretty loud. I have a noise canceling headphones, so I don't know. Um, but I don't know if you heard that, but I feel like it, it's left you feeling empty because you've tried, you, you've been running. Pisces, I don't know who this is for, but you've been running from what your truth is for so long that you have been left feeling empty. And I feel like um, it is getting harder and harder and harder to fill that. I feel like the things that once brought you um, temporary reprieve from feeling empty is not working. It's still growling. Like it's wild to me. Because we've been on this reading for what, um, almost 37 minutes and my stomach is just like going ape shit right now, right? So I feel like this is about you sitting in your truth and you actually doing what you feel is good for you that's going to fill you up. Yeah, and it's going to take you. Cool, now I'm. Now I'm getting um, burpee energy, which which is releasing fear. And that one hurt. I'm not going to lie. Like it took everything I had not to make like this loud sound <laughs> in your guys' ears. Um, but yeah, it, it feels like it's going to take you releasing your fears for sure. Right. And that, that fear that you've been running from has left you feeling empty. And if you could release the fear and let yourself sit in your truth, like I feel like you're going to feel full in those spaces. Right. So guidance, advice, or encouragement for you moving forward, Pisces. Honor your beauty. Yeah, like I was saying, like I was saying, can't you see how amazing you really are, right? This is about you honoring yourself, right? Thank you, Archangel Jophile, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. And more than anything, Pisces, I feel like this is about how you feel on the inside, seeing the beauty that you possess internally. I don't think it has anything to do or it has very little to do with the beauty that you hold on the inside, right? And, or excuse me, on the outside. Um, because here's the thing. I feel like for many of you, you, I feel like to some extent, you probably feel pretty comfortable in your own skin um, and or, or not in your own skin, but like with the way you look, okay? I don't know that very many of you would resonate and I'm not saying there's no one who would okay but I feel like not very many of you would resonate with not feeling like you're attractive I feel like you probably do feel attractive however I feel like that only goes so far as the surface as your skin right and I feel like the advice or encouragement that you're being given here is to see how beautiful you are internally as well right to start recognizing that it's not just about, you know, what you look like on the outside, but it's about what you feel on the inside and how you experience everything, right? And I feel like um, for some of you, I'm actually getting this energy of, for some of you, you may have been in situations, whether it be relationships or whatever, where you're like, okay, yes, I um, can be with this person. Like, I feel like I look good right? But there's been that question of like, why are you with me? Why, why, um, you know, I'm not good enough. I'm not whatever. And it's strictly an internal thing. It's not because you don't feel like you're attractive enough because I feel like whoever it is that the, whoever, whoever resonates with this and whoever the external person is, the, the, um, other party is in this situation, I feel like you probably know or knew, right? Whatever, however it is, 
that that person was physically attracted to you, right? Or, or whatever the situation, I feel like there was no doubt about that, but I feel like at the end of it, you're like, I don't get why you want to be with me. Like, I know I look good, but like, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Right. And I feel like that was the only, like, I just feel like some of you were doubting this. So I feel like it's important for you moving forward to know that all of these things are happening to try to show you, um, how beautiful you truly are internally, how valuable you truly are and how much you really do matter. Actually, let me move that over there. So it's in frame. Yeah. You have here as well. Open your heart. And like I was saying to you, right in the beginning, I said, or, 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 um, earlier on, I said, when you put walls up between you and you, you also put walls up between you and everyone else. And here you have Archangel Shamuel, open your heart. Thank you, Shamuel, for removing the barriers around my heart. Right? So this is something to keep in mind as you move forward, right? That this is about you opening your heart to you and to how you feel, to your emotions, to what your intuition is telling you, right? And I think it's really interesting too, because you have this Venusian Galactic Council, which is very like Venus, the energy. And as I film this in real time, we have Venus entering Capricorn. So that's super fascinating as well as the, that energy of Venus being one of like affection, attraction, beauty, harmony, right? All these sorts of things. And now you have like open your heart as well, right? To further drive that home to say like, these are things that you could be experiencing if you should allow yourself to open up to them. Okay. So I feel like Pisces, you've got a lot going on this month, even though there aren't so many cards on the table here, I feel like internally there's a whole lot happening. Right. Um, and I feel like it's teaching you a whole, whole, whole lot. And I think that part of this is coming from you know, obviously what's come through here in the cards. And then I feel like another part of this is coming from the fact that December is a universal nine month and universal nine months are about closure and completion and transition. It's also about um, service to other people. Right. And so I feel like there's this, th there's this energy that's trying to align you with that higher calling with, you know, what you're at, like, how do I wear this? Cause it feels to me like it's like, yes, it's about aligning with your purpose, but I feel like it's about how impactful that purpose can be and why it's so important as well. Right. Um, but I feel like it could be aligning you with that, right. Getting you in touch with your intuition so that you can discover your purpose right? Feel it more clearly, take grounded action when you feel called to do so and not be questioning yourself every time you get something new, every time you experience something different, right? It's just like, oh, this is, this is part of the plan. This is part of what I'm supposed to be experiencing, right? It's about, again, really surrendering to and allowing yourself to flow with life, like letting life mold you, not trying to mold life to work around you, right? It's very interesting energy, but I love it for you, Pisces, because I feel like it could be a tremendous month of growth for you, especially with how you see yourself. And I feel like that's so important. So Pisces, that's what I have for you for December, 2022. If there was something in this reading that resonated with you, please do the YouTube things by liking, sharing, subscribing, and or commenting. It really does help the channel to grow. And I truly am so very grateful for anyone who takes the time to do so. Thank you for sharing your time and energy with me. I am so very grateful for you being here. As always, it's been an incredible pleasure to read for you. I hope that December is full of love and joy and acceptance and growth and expansion for you. I hope that you find peace. I hope that you find um, your light within, and I hope that you share it with the world because it is truly so beautiful. I am sending you the biggest of hugs, so much love. Have an amazing close to your 2022, and I hope to see you in 2023. Take care of your beautiful soul. Bye.